kind of the whole idea behind electron microscopy, you know, this whole notion that seeing is believing. And so we have this idea to make a phenomenon visible is immensely to a larger power of understanding it. So if you, if you see it, then you can understand it. We can see macromolecules, and we can even get with the best of electron microscopes. We can go all the way down to angstroms, and we can see atoms. So, and, you know, we can now cover the entire gamut. So that whole seeing is believing. Now we have the ability to go from very large things, the tree, and then go all the way down to what's inside that tree leaf. And these here are the three-dimensional models, so now you can take it. Really cool geometry here. We have these stacks in the middle, then we have membrane that come around like staircases. Wraps all the way around these guys. Still, no one knows how this forms. Which samples are more contaminated? Count the colonies on your samples. You can't do that until you divide them. Right? So this group has one plate done. We all go, as you guys go forward, can we now get together and, and figure out how these systems work? How can this, this sorry scheme, you know, it's not, not that important, but it is. And so how, how can we how can we figure out the entire system? How can we get to that point? Oh man, that game was so awesome. Um let's move on to the next game, but but first let's kick it up a notch. Bam! Okay, cool, here's a few. Two, three. Gary! <laughs> Toxoplasma. Uh, how many people have cats? Anybody get cats in there? Got cats? You're infected with toxoplasma. Oh, no. um, once you get it, you always have it. Um, what's the research say about us being infected? Infected men are more jealous, women more outgoing, both have slower reaction times and involved in more car accidents. Um, <laughs> What's, what's really cool, what's really interesting is this talk about life cycle, right? I said parasites need their life cycle completed. So toxoplasma lives in cats, and when they, they urinate or defecate in their box, they release it. Mice go around and stuff, and they sniff around, and, and they get infected. The mice get infected. And then infected mice will actually attack, aggressively attack cats. <laughs> They'll be eaten. They get eaten, and then the parasite gets spread, right? So it's a good way to spread the parasite um, by taking control of that mouse, that mice or rat's brain to do that. So, um, but yeah, if you have cats, if you ever clean litter, um, then yeah, you're probably infected. So.